The people in our area uh, face many different problems, um, generational poverty, um, lack of resources, and a lot of barriers uh, to success, a lot of barriers to self-sufficiency. Our programming helps folks try and alleviate some of that. We can try and find something that's better suited for them in our local area. The ARC grant allows us to connect to our communities on a deeper level, where we're impacted with schools, correctional facilities, community organizations. We really have no stones unturned. Um, we're really just uh, being able to help everyone at this time. You know, where the schools might not have funding for programming, we can step in and help uh, where we're needed uh, when folks are looking to find their career pathway. Right now, the biggest challenges the Department of Merit Building Trades has is, uh, in, their, in their local unions is getting people to apply. I mean, there used to be a time when we'd have 100 people or 200 people applying for 10 or 15 positions. Now it's almost the opposite. We, we could probably use several more people than we have. And um, we don't have maybe 15, 20 that even apply. Recruiting apprentices, uh, they're more technical, uh, more technology. Uh, the virtual reality, there's, I've seen it used for the recruitment process and it's more interactive with it than just asking questions and answering their questions to have the virtual reality it seems to get them more involved to understand what the trade is about. You know, the Workforce Development Board is actually probably one of the best kept secrets. Our goal is to give them purpose, which ultimately impacts individuals' lives. It leads to not just a job, it leads to a career. And our whole mission and vision centers on what we call CAPES, C-A-P-E-S, capturing Appalachian prosperity through economic success. And what that truly means is getting people to trust in their cape and take that leap of faith. Because what that leap of faith is, is saying, wait a minute, now I have the confidence to do what I've always wanted to do. Uh, looking at helping develop pre-apprenticeship programs that will lead directly into registered apprenticeship is, is a major focus and something that we feel will be an answer to a lot of the issues that West Virginia and our community faces at this point. Qualified people uh, to um, community resources that, that help uh, partner with uh, housing initiatives, um, re-entry initiatives. New technologies such as um, the virtual reality, transfer VR, and simulations are really essential to helping our Circles families get ahead because the new technology is like the wave of the future. When you think about our youth population who is very immersed in gaming and in and already using virtual reality um, through that, it's something they're familiar with. It's, it's something that yields such a high return in terms of getting you not just a job, but an actual career. So that technology is essential. I would say Workforce did a really great job at, at creating an opportunity for people that are reaching for a new career to start looking because that was my issue. I had go, gone to college and I was looking for something different and I didn't know where to start. So I think they did a really great job at creating an opportunity for those of those people who would like to go into the trades. Uh, Transfer has been an amazing partner from the first time we made the first call and um, talked with your staff about what uh, just as a walkthrough to be able to see what was this technology and what could it do. Uh, we very much were interested in helping skilled trades be able to develop a pipeline that they felt was drying up. We very much believed in starting simulation work experience and how that could be integral to helping people understand about industry as well as develop skills. Using the transfer VR simulations has really opened doors for us uh, where we haven't had in the past. What brought me here is I want to be a welder in the future and I figured this is like a step in the door to just get started in that career path and it's just something I wanted to do. With this program I was able to go out, look at the different trades besides the one I was already registered with and working with. I think what surprised me most about integrating um, this new technology into our organization was how easy it was to do so. The workforce has done an excellent job of training their uh, technicians that come out and help 
um, and they're always there. They have the answers to any questions or any issues you need to work through. They are very patient and they're very um, gentle. I think of a class we were offering in Calhoun County, which is a very rural community. Probably 90% of the class was 60 and up. So they definitely had never utilized any technology like the virtual reality. But those that did, um, they were just so enamored with it. Um, and they just couldn't believe it. One exciting new development for employers in the Mid-Ohio Valley is the fact that the Workforce Development Board is really here to help push along registered apprenticeship programs, and we have funding to be able to do that. Whether it's for traditional apprenticeship programs like the building and construction trade programs, or it's non-traditional apprenticeship programs. So with registered apprenticeship funding that we have, we are able to help with the classroom training, the related instruction that has to take place in the classroom, and the cost associated with that. That's what we're here to do, is we're here to help you fill any of these job positions and any training needs that you might have. So before you hire, you should call your local workforce development board. Uh, I think hope comes from being heard and being seen, and for people to be able to have platforms like the virtual uh, platforms or any of the other um, tools that we use for career exploration and training for people to say, hey, that's me, uh, that's what I want to do, and how can we make that happen? and have people that have answers for that. I think that's hope.